Happy Fourth, everybody! And, um... Well, this uh, video is pretty damn uh, famous right now. I'm going to give my two cents on it. I, I may replay a few things, but my God. I, I don't know if this is the state of the union. I don't know if this is the state of the Democrat Party. But let's set the stage. This was a Republican woman. And you know what? I'm not even going to comment on her argument. Let's leave aside the politics of the situation agree with her disagree with her it's irrelevant to this video look at how this jackass acted pass the chair recognizes representative powell mr speaker i move to amend with amendment 1594 Objection. the chair has the amendment the amendment appears to be in order the representative may proceed Wonderful. The Save Women Sports Act is a fairness issue for women to be able to choose. Okay, now, if, if you missed it, they already did an improper objection. Their dreams and athletics in our state. And it's crucial to preserving women's rights and the integrity of women's and girls' sports. Across our country, female athletes are currently losing scholarships, opportunities, medals, education, and training opportunities. This amendment will require schools that are part of the... Now, the guy screaming and pounding on his table is just some elected representative. By the way, Ohio, you elected this guy. You might want to vote for whoever the fuck's running against him. Unless this is his last term, in which case he don't give a shit anyway. OHSAA to designate separate teams for participants of the biological sex. No school inter <laughs> no school interscholastic conference or organization <laughs> that regulates interscholastics shall permit biological males to participate on athletic team or an athletic competition designated only for biological female participants. Currently, OHSAA allows biological males to compete. Can somebody clothesline the dumb son of a bitch? Compete against biological females if they either completed a year of hormone therapy, demonstrated they do not possess physical. Oh, God, this is even funnier. Okay, so let me break this down a little bit. Let's go back here for a minute. Biological sex, education, and training. Female athletes are currently losing scholarships opportunities medals education and training opportunities this amendment will require schools that are part of the ohsaa to z does somebody not tell it why is the chairman letting this go on can you imagine if the parties were flipped and some republican in some state was doing this it'd be on every single motherfucking mainstream news network Rachel Maddow would be bitching about it for another two fucking years. Does Joe Scarborough would be going nuts about it. Designate separate teams for participants of the biological sex. No school inter... No school interscholastic conference or... Can somebody tell this guy to... Why isn't anyone saying shut the fuck up? Get the guy who's having a heart attack or choking to death the fuck out of here. Our organization that regulates interscholastics shall permit biological males to participate on athletic team or an athletic competition designated only for biological female participants. Currently, OHSAA... Yeah, that's an old white guy, too. ...allows biological males to compete against biological females if they either completed a... Okay, why did this guy not... T I assume he's the leader of this shit. Why did he not take control of this and say, uh, dude, to the gentleman from wherever the fuck, dude, if you slam your hand on the table one more goddamn time, I'm chopping your hands off and also I'm taking your, I'm chopping your dick off and ramming it in your eye socket. Year of hormone therapy demonstrated they do not possess physical. Okay, so now there's going to be an objection and it's another hysterical thing. The, the, the rest of this video is pretty boring. State what rule 
constitutional provision or statute has been violated. What, what, who is okay, now, the little I know of this, you're allowed to object if it's like some rule or statute has been violated. Outside of that, you basically have to sit down, shut up, and wait your turn to talk. I was raising the point of order. Representative House? Okay. What, what is your point of order? Thank you. Statute. Oh, just, just, just to rule, push the win to rule 101, move to the previous question. By the way, can we not, can we stop electing big, fat black ladies to anything? I mean, if they can't control their weight, why the fuck do you think they could run a country? Question. And shall the debate now close? Okay, so she wasn't recognized for a motion. This is not the debate portion. She didn't put her name on the docket to give a counterpoint to this thing. She's just raising an objection because of reasons. And it's glorious what happens next. No, you made a point of um, it was a point, point, of point of order. Mm -hmm. uh, another member has all been ready, been recognized in his speaking. And she was a, it, was, it, it, it was an objection. It was an objection. There was an objection. There was an objection. You can't object to bills just because you don't like them. What what rule, constitutional provision, or statute, or statute has been violated? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> one on one. I see it personally. Something has to be violated for you to raise the objection. What do I mean? The whole reason you're talking, bitch! Went to rule 101, which we filed the paper to call to the previous question. That, that, that motion is not... You, we already filed... You, you have to be recognized for a motion before that is... Just filing the paper is not the motion. It's support for a motion. I recognize Representative Powell. She is in the... Mo in, 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 in the middle of making her uh, uh, remarks in support of the amendment. So the question... The, so the question, the guy, the guy has gone from pounding on this, the table like a three-year-old to say, no fair, no fair. Will be on the amendment. And I will Dude, did the, did the guy have a goddamn stroke? And he, and he's reverted mentally back to a fucking four-year-old? Recognize you when she is finished speaking. Grandpa, it's time for ice cream. This is why we need to have a maximum age limit on any motherfucker elected to public office. I'm sick and tired of having these fucking senile, demented idiots in office. If you are 80, if you are 70, guess what? You're too fucking old to govern. You can give advice while you're sitting there in your depends. But I am sick to death of the leadership of my country being in the fucking early bird special club. And that goes for both goddamn parties. And yes, quite frankly, I'm leaning more and more that in 2024, Donald Trump might be too old to run. Currently, OHSAA allows biological males to compete against biological females if they either, one, have completed a year of hormone therapy, or two, demonstrated that they do not possess physical or physiological Okay, advantage. the rest of this is a political argument. I don't know how the hell they shut him up. I don't know if just some security guard came and put a sock in the old man's mouth and duct taped it around to shut him the hell up. I don't know if he was removed or... Where is going to be the ethics investigation in this? Again, can you imagine if the parties were reversed? And it was some Democrat arguing for, like, let's say abortion, and some Republican jackass started smacking the table and acting like, like he was having a fucking tantrum. So, yeah. Hey, America, we're better than this. Let's not act like those jackasses in, like, Taiwan who get into fistfights in their parliament. So, yeah, anyway. That ends this motherfucker.